everyone. Thank you for joining us for Devotionables, brief devotions for busy people. My name is Gabriel. Today we're considering what it looks like, in one aspect, to be abiding in Jesus. You know, as we, the year comes to a close and we're looking ahead to 2023, you know, it's not uncommon to begin thinking about what you would like to accomplish, what kind of goals you have set for yourself in 2023. And I want to just be found faithful in God's Word, that I might continue to abide in the vine, as Jesus talks about in John 15. So we want to be known as a people of the Word. We want to be in God's Word. And so one of the things we are doing in this next year is when we do devotionables, we'll be following a Bible reading plan that uh, the people down at Robbie Galley's church, is F260, foundation, 260 foundational chapters in the Bible. There's a Bible reading plan uh, I'll put down here in the comments, and you can uh, or description. You can follow along with us if you like the uh, the U version app. I think they have the the Bible reading plan. You can follow along there, or you can go to naobc.org/discipleship, and you can find the F260 plan there. And so, as we go through this Bible reading plan, these devotionables will be flowing out of that where we are at that time in uh, the schedule of the year. And so we encourage you, we hope you'll read along with us. And so it's so vital for the disciple of Jesus to be found in His Word. And in fact, that's part of how we abide. Jesus has told us that He is the vine. He is the true vine and that we are to abide in Him. This is from John chapter 15, in the Upper Room Discourse. Jesus, in His final moments before being betrayed, being handed over to the authorities, being handed over to be crucified, He's having this, this intimate meal with his best friends, his disciples. And he's telling them some things. He's told them, I'm about to go away. And here in chapter 15, he tells them, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. So here in John 15, we'll see that Jesus is talking about abiding, about bearing fruit, about love. Okay, and these things are all connected. And he, he says in verse 4, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. So you and I were told to abide in Jesus. Again, he's going to say in verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I am him, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. Let's... I mean, if you have a pen, just underline that. Just try to get that into your head, as I try to get that into my head. You know, we do a lot of things, good things, without Jesus. And a lot of us strive to become more like Jesus without Jesus. We even do our Bible reading without Jesus. But here, we need Jesus. And so even when we come to God's Word, like, Jesus, I can do nothing apart from you. Please open my uh, mind that I am going to understand the scripture, kind of a Luke 24 kind of prayer. In verse 6, If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and this is the, the verse I really want us to die, like, look at this here. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. So Jesus, talking to his disciples, and in, 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 in inspiration of the Holy Spirit, John recording this, and bringing these things back to John's mind as he's writing this, talking about discipleship, the Word of God, and discipleship, abiding in Jesus and the Word of God. is so Complimentary, uh, com they complement one another. The disciples are to be in God's Word. And so I want to encourage you, and this is not about like checking off a plan, right? Not about uh, kind of pharisaical, legalistic requirements. It's about, no, I love God. I want to spend time with God. I need to be abiding in Jesus, and we do so through His Word. So God's blessings on you in 2023 as we end up 2022. We encourage you to, uh, whether it's the, the F260 a Bible reading plan or another, just make a plan to be in God's Word, to be a people of the words. Blessings on you today in the name of King Jesus.